Hi students, I'm Ms. Andres. I'm a second grade teacher at Emerson Elementary. All right, today we're gonna to continue our new unit on determining the important ideas. Last lesson we read an article and today we're going to do the same. When we're reading the article, we're gonna find out about what the important ideas are. Today our article is about dolphin whistles. If you're not quite sure what a dolphin whistle is, I'll play a sound for you and this is what it sounds like. All right, that's what a dolphin whistle is. We're gonna learn lots more about that. Before we start our lesson, there's a couple things we need to do over. When it's time to stop and think, what I want you to do is take a quick, a few seconds, think in your head of how you would answer the question, and then listen to the next part. All right, I think we're all ready. Okay, here's the article, Hey Joe, how's it going? You'll have a copy of your article in your packet, so feel free to read along with me as I read, if you'd like. It's also on the video. I'm going to read this story two times. Um, the first time, I want you just to think about what's going on. The second time, we'll think about the important parts. Hey Joe, How's It Going? by Jennifer Marino Walter. Bottlenose dolphins are known for their high-pitched whistles they make to communicate, which means to talk to each other. But what are they saying? Scientists now think some of those whistles might actually be a unique, which means one of a kind, name for themselves and other dolphins. Scientists already knew from past studies that each dolphin has a signature whistle, which means a specific whistle that belongs to that particular dolphin. It uses it when it's in a group and that dolphins respond to or answer the whistle of the dolphins they know. And a recent study suggests that when a dolphin hears the sound of its own whistle, whether recorded or copied by another dolphin, it often repeats the whistle back as to say, I'm here. All right, I want you to stop and think for a few seconds. What is something you've learned already in this article? Take a few seconds. All right, you might have been thinking that you've learned about that dolphins have a signature whistle and that's how they communicate and they're able to recognize their own whistle. Let's keep reading. So yes, I'm here. All right, we see a heading for this. Lots of great text features in this one. What's in a name? The scientists followed a group of wild dolphins off Eastern Scotland for four months and recorded their signature whistles. Researchers then created computerized versions of the whistles they could play back to the dolphins. Hmm, we're going to stop and think one more time. Why do you think the scientists would do that? Hmm, maybe you were thinking to yourself that they would do that so they could learn more about the dolphins or that they could research how they communicate. All right, so they would create computerized versions of whistles so they could play back to the dolphins. The scientists then played the whistles using an underwater speaker, which is a machine that could play sounds underwater. In most cases, the dolphins responded to their own signature whistle by whistling them back, often immediately, which means right away. The dolphins responded to the little bit of recordings of the other dolphins from the same group, but didn't respond to at all to the unfamiliar dolphins from a different group. The findings suggest that not only do dolphins recognize the familiar signature whistle, but they also use dolphin signature whistle to call them out, the same way humans call each other by names. Just like my name is Miss Andres, your name, whatever your name is, they're all unique, and that's what we use to know each other and to know who we're talking to. All right, I want you to think so far, what have you learned? Take a few seconds to stop and think.
All right, something I learned is that dolphins use their signature whistle to call each other, almost like a name. Okay, let's keep going. This is the first study testing wild dolphins' responses to signature whistles. It brings up the question about how common it is it for animals to use whistles or other sounds to name or identify themselves. Past studies have suggested that parrots, for instance, may engage in a naming behavior. Hmm, interesting. Stephanie King, the study's lead scientist, says, I think you'd really open the door now and look at more and look at into more animals. All right, stop and think. What? Why do you think the author made the title, Hey Joe, How's It Going? Take a few seconds to think. All right, I think that maybe they named him that because Joe could be one of the, the dolphins' names. It's just like calling someone their name. All right, we are going to read the article again. This time we're going to be thinking about what is important to remember about this. Okay. Hey Joe, how's it going? Bottlenose nose dolphins are known for the high-pitched whistles they make to communicate. But what are they saying? Scientists now think that some of these whistles might actually be a unique, one-of-a-kind name for themselves and other dolphins. Scientists already knew from past studies that each dolphin has a signature whistle. It uses it when a group that a dolphin responds to, or when it's in a group, and that dolphin responds to the whistle of the other dolphins they know. And a recent study suggests when the dolphin hears the sound of its own whistle, whether recorded or copied by another dolphin, it often repeats the whistle back as if to say, yes, I'm here. What's in a name? The sign, or we're gonna actually going to stop right there before we get to that part. I want you to stop and think what's important to remember about what we just read. So really think, take a few seconds. All right, one important thing that I was thinking was that all dolphins have a signature whistle that they can hear even when it's recorded back to them. Okay. What's in a name? The scientists followed a group of wild dolphins off the eastern Scotland for four months and recorded their signature whistles. Researchers then created computerized versions of the whistles so they could play back to the dolphins. The scientists then played the whistles in an underwater speaker. In most cases, the dolphins responded to their own signature whistles by whistling them back, often immediately. The dolphins responded to a little bit of the recordings of the other dolphins from the same group, but didn't respond at all to the unfamiliar dolphins of a different group. The, the findings suggest that not only do dolphins recognize a familiar dolphin's signature whistle, but they also use dolphin signature whistles to call them, or to call them out to say the same way that humans call each other names. All right, we're gonna stop there. I want you to think, what is something important to remember that you heard in that, la in that last paragraph, paragraphs we read? Take a few seconds to stop and think. You might have been thinking about that dolphins use their whistle to communicate like we do for names. I think that's important. Okay, on to the next paragraph. This is the first study testing wild dolphin responses to signature whistles. It brings up the question of how common it is for animals to whistle or other sounds to name or identify themselves. Past studies suggest that parrots, for instance, may engage in a similar naming behavior. Stephanie King, the study's lead scientist, says, I think we can really open the door now to look at more animals. All right, stop and think one more time. What do you think is important to remember about that part? Take a few seconds. All righty, I think something that's important, or you might have thought it yourself, is that it's important that many animals 
might use sounds or whistles to communicate like we do. Okay, as we read the article again, I want you to stop and think one more time. If someone asked what this article is about, what would you say to them? Think for a few seconds. All right, some things maybe you would say is that this article is about dolphins whistles and how they make respond to their own unique whistles. Tomorrow, we are going to learn more about or read another article. But for today, we're going to move on to vocabulary. Our vocabulary words are coming straight from Hey Joe, how's it going? I'm going to read a part to you and then we're going to talk about our vocabulary words. Okay. Bottlenose dolphins are known for the high pitched whistles they make to communicate. But what are they saying? Scientists now think some of those whistles might actually be unique, one of a kind name for them themselves and other dolphins. Our word today is unique. Right there. Our first prompt today is what do you think unique means? What do you think unique means? One way to figure out is to use the words around it in the sentence that tell you what the word might mean. Take a few seconds to stop and think. All right, you might think that unique means different or um, one of its own or one of a kind. And our second prompt is what clue helps you figure out the meaning of the word unique? So think about what clue helps you figure out the meaning of the word unique? Take a few seconds to think. All right. Some clues that I noticed are the words around it that even say the definition of it. So one of a kind. Scientists now think some of those whistles may actually be unique, one of a kind name for of themselves and other dolphins. Sometimes in the writing itself, it will tell you what new words mean. That's our word unique. Say it with me, unique. If you see here, here's our word unique. And here's an example of something that's unique. A fluffy car that looks like a dot, that sure be unique. Here are some more prompts for you. So the first one, I think a pencil is or is not unique because take a few seconds to stop and think about do you think a pencil is unique? Okay, I think a pencil is not unique because most pencils look exactly the same. Our next one is I think I am unique because take a few seconds to think about if you are unique and why. Okay, I think I am unique because there's no one like me in the world. Okay, I'm going to reread you paragraph two for our next vocab word. Scientists already knew from past studies that each dolphin has a signature whistle and uses it when in a group. And the dolphin responds to the whistles of other dolphins they know. A recent study suggests when dolphins hear the sound of its own whistle, whether recorded or copied by another dolphin, it often repeats the whistle back as if to say, I'm here. All right, our new vocabulary word is recently. Recently is the word recent with the suffix ly or li put on the end. Recently is something that you did that wasn't that long ago, so it happened a short time ago. I want you to think about what is something that you've done recently. Take a few seconds to think about what is something you did that wasn't that long ago. All right, I'll go. Recently, I went on a walk. It was yesterday, so it wasn't that long ago. What is something you recently did? For IDR at home, you could read fiction or nonfiction for the next few weeks. What I want you to do this week is to picture or imagine what you are reading. Even if there are pictures in your book, I want you to create a mental image of what you are reading about. 
and be sure to write your responses either in a packet or just a piece of paper. I'll show you what I've done. So I read Spring After Spring by Stephanie Roth Session. This is a story. So my first question is, what is this book about? This book is about a girl named Rachel who learned all about animals and different um, plants and insects outside. And she wrote a book to about how to save them. So when it, and then for writing, draw and write about the mental images you created while reading. This book was, had me thinking of so many different things and imagining different beautiful things. So I drew a little picture of fish and turtles and I wrote that Rachel was looking at the fish in the sea and the turtles swimming by. The next question is, which words helped you create your mental image? There was lots of great words in this book to help me create my mental image. Some of them were, she wrote of vivid descriptions of sea creatures, just the word underwater. And the last thing that really stuck out to me was creatures in tidal pools, marshes, and the sea. It's a great book to check out. If you don't have any books at home, be sure to look out on the website for lots of resources of how to find books that you could read on your computer. All right, till next time. Bye.